So it's six o'clock in the morning and I've got to be at work at seven. So every morning I will be running out there to check on her teats to see if she has developed any donuts. And when she makes the donuts, I'll show you. But y'all come on. I always approach cautiously and I announce my approach because if I do come out here and she does have babies, I don't know how she'll react, but she's got her milk motor going, so. So just a little backstory about Bertha. This is her second time farrowing. The first time was pretty rough. She was pretty overweight. And we're hoping that we got her weight down enough this time that she will not struggle as much. But we are still a nervous wreck. This morning she's under our shelter. So I guess it ain't time yet. Hey! Hey, Mama! Hey! You got your milk going. Got her milk motor going. Hey. Hey, Mama. You got your milk motor going. You got your bed built here, don't you? Got your bed. Your teats. They're starting to get donuts. This around this area will it'll really start bagging up. If you squeeze your nipples and you get milk, it'll be within 24 hours, according to what we've read. But nothing yet. She's a girl. Friday, it's her due date, and she's laying over here in the mud pit, which uh, we really don't want her to have them over here, so we may have to lock her out of here today, because I think we're getting close. Her vulva is extremely swollen, I don't know if I'm going to get around there and check her cheeks, but we don't have to get around the mud pit. There's rain coming for the next several days. I'm a little nervous about that and how that she's going to keep those piglets dry. Bertha. Yesterday was her due date. She did have some milk. She was looked like she had some donuts. She had some soiling around her um, udders. I guess that's pig udders. I don't know. So I'm gonna go check this morning and see if we had some piglets. Let's hope that everything's okay. If not, I have made a little kit for things I can help with, but we don't want to have to help a lot. We really want her to be independent about having her piglets. So that's why we haven't tried to be out there the whole time. This time, we were the first time. Y'all, let's go look.
gosh. It's raining, so I'm not going to be able to do as much.
Hey y'all. I know I'm looking a little rough today. I feel a little hungover after yesterday's busy day of farrowing. I'll sit down and tell y'all the full story in a little bit. But right now, let's run out and check on those piglets. They're just over 24 hours old. And let's see how they're doing.
Oh. <laughs>